In ancient Israel, nothing was more pitiable than a leper. They were prohibited from entering any town since this disease was so contagious. When they walked, they were to ring a bell and shout, unclean, unclean, so that people knew that a leper was approaching and could clear the area. They couldn't come within 50 yards of a person. Theirs was a life of total isolation. No friendship, no sense of belonging, no affection. And in today's gospel, we met 10 of them. They stood off at a distance and shouted to Jesus, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. At that moment, they had complete confidence in Christ to ask for healing. And Jesus heard them. He told them to go and show themselves to the priest. You see, in that time, it was Jewish law for a priest had to declare someone free of leprosy before that person could re-enter society. And on their way to the priest, all ten were healed. But only one of them realized that he'd been healed and returned to thank Jesus and glorify God. Isn't that amazing? Just one of them noticed? You see, leprosy is a very painful disease, and if you were healed, you would most definitely notice. The other nine simply took the healing for granted and didn't realize the incredible gift they had just received. G.K. Chesterton once said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or you take them with gratitude. Gratitude opens our hearts to God and others. Gratitude makes us more fully human. Gratitude sets our minds on eternity. Gratitude is the secret to true flourishing, both as individuals and as a society. This is a great lesson from today's gospel. Receive the gifts of God with gratitude. Sometimes we can miss these little gifts that God and others want to give us. But part of receiving the gifts of God with gratitude means recognizing and appreciating the little things. Here's a, partic a practical way that we can grow in this this week. Write a thank you note, just a, just a short little something. Maybe it can be to your spouse expressing your gratitude or your siblings for the same reason. Maybe it will be a note to your parents or it could be a note to a coworker or a friend who's been there for you. Once you're done with these notes, thank God for the gift of these people because it is by the gift of God that they're there. Gratitude makes us more like God and opens our hearts to a deeper relationship with him. So let us pray. Lord, help us to have complete confidence in you. We know that you hear us. You always hear us. Thank you for all the gifts you have bestowed upon us.